Hi, I'm Leonie from Spines and Splines. Every year I try and make a project for the Project for Awesome, and this year I want to talk to you about vaccines while I make some sketchbooks. The Project for Awesome is an annual charity fundraising event where online creators make videos encouraging people to give to a charity, and you can learn more about it by clicking the links in the description of this video. This year I want to talk to you about donating COVID vaccines through UNICEF and the COVAX program to people living in countries that need help accessing and providing them. I think we're all pretty well aware at this point that the COVID pandemic is a worldwide problem and that we all need to work at it together to find a solution that works well for everyone. If it helps, think of yourself like a page in a book and your community and government like the binding. You can exist as a page on your own, but that binding provides support and community and helps you function well as part of the story. Without access to resources, it's really difficult for some countries and communities to provide the support needed to their people. It's always important to give and help where we can, but especially at this time, it's just absolutely essential that we do our part to help get vaccines to all of the people who need them. This is the single most powerful thing that we can do individually to help prevent COVID mutating and spreading everywhere over and over again. But on a more basic level, we should be doing it because helping each other is just the right thing to do. There's a number of basic things that we all know we can do to help prevent the spread of COVID, like wearing a mask in public, staying home when we're sick and getting vaccinated. Individually, each of these practices helps a little bit, but like trying to bind a book without the tools to sew through the spine, it'll hold us for a while, but it's pretty easy for the whole thing to fall apart. I live in Europe and the Irish government has provided me three vaccine shots free of charge to help keep me healthy and stop the spread of COVID. Those three vaccines and the high uptake of vaccines here in general has helped keep a lot of people alive and out of hospital. That's great, but it's not enough, and governments around the world could and should be doing a lot more to help get vaccines to other countries that have less money. It'd be nice if we could just lobby our governments to demand they help more people with our taxes, and we can do that as well, but there just isn't time. With the help of the UNICEF COVAX program, we can donate vaccines now to help people in countries where they're needed. For 75 years now, UNICEF have been running programs that help improve and save the lives of children around the world, and now they've been called upon by the COVAX program to deliver literally billions of COVID vaccines to people in more than 130 countries where they're needed. In general, vaccines are one of the greatest advances in modern medicine. With the help of vaccines, child mortality rates worldwide have halved, saving and improving millions of lives. If you'd like to learn more about the fascinating history and impact of vaccination, I highly recommend reading Yul Abyss's book on immunity, and I'll leave details for that in the video description. At the time of making this video, only 9% of people living in low-income countries have received their first COVID vaccination. I've had three, alongside most of the other people in my country. Vaccines save lives, and the single most important thing you can do today is donate any amount of money to UNICEF to help them deliver 3 billion vaccines to the people who need them. That's 1 billion vaccines for each individual COVID shot that I personally have had, or in terms of these books, it's 1 billion vaccines for each hole I punched through the spine so that I could sew the book together. I've included links in the description of this video to the UNICEF websites where you can donate money for vaccines in Ireland, Australia, the USA and the UK. If you're in a different country and can donate a vaccine, search for your local UNICEF website and follow the links to the COVID vaccine donation pages. UNICEF do a lot of other good work as well, so please do spend some time reading about their different programs that help improve lives around the world. There'll also be links in the description to the Project for Awesome website where you can go to vote for this video, watch the videos that others have made for their chosen charities and donate money that will go to a variety of worthy courses. Thanks for watching. Cheers.